hi and welcome back to ask nk and in today's video we will be looking at grading this is actually something that's been asked about over the period of the uh, videos we've been making and i'll go ahead and show you how this can be done actually if you want to grade your stuff most times you get to see artists they leave uh the app which they're making use of for example if you're using twin motion or maybe you're using some other application out there when this stuff get rendered you see them take it over to photoshop and and maybe some other uh grooming app and then they go ahead and start grading these uh renders and one of the things that i would be talking about is how you can grade your stuff outside twin motion but this feature might be a bit limiting in the sense that for twin motion as an example you can only grade images and you cannot be able to grade videos so i'll just go over here and show you with the images that we have uh saved out previously so if i click over here and let's say uh, open up this image right here and click on the more button you see that down there we have this called visual effect and if i select the grading i can be able to simply grade this video to my heart content depending on what i want to get at the end of the day so we can choose a blue tint we can choose something like this depending on what you're going for you can decide to choose any of these uh, grades that fits your need and the cool thing is because twin motion is real time you can actually see this implement on the scene unlike the other third party software i mean unlike the other architectural rendering softwares where you have to you know save out your images first then you start adding all of those grading stuff in real time you can actually tell if the colors you're picking if they appeal to what your client wants or what you want for your render so for videos this is not uh possible because if we go over to uh the media pool and we decide to click on the video let's go over to create or edit depending on what you want to do and i select on one of them and click on more you find out that we don't have that option here we have only depth of field we have the camera we have the weather we have the lighting but then we don't have that stuff uh we don't have the visual effects so the big question is how can you color grade your stuff outside uh, twin motion or when you're done rendering them so there's a bunch of apps that's out there that you can make use of for example you can choose to go with the adobe suit which uh, comprises of either premiere pro or after effect or maybe a speed grade which i don't know if it's been discontinued or if it's still available but for the most part you may just need premiere pro to do all of that stuff you can also make use of final cut it has some very nice features that you can play with there but for my own personal preference when it comes to grading i uh, actually love to play with uh the software called uh resolve from black magic so if i would be uh, able to open up the resolve you would see that it has uh basically all of the features i may be uh, needing uh, an adobe suit for so and the cool thing is uh, resolve is actually free so you can get the free version or you can get the studio version and you just have to pay a fraction of the amount you pay for a typical license so i'm just going to go ahead and just simply open up a project that we've had before and that's actually one of the renders we made previously and let me just drag it over to this other screen okay and if i simply just turn this here you can see this is exactly what we rendered out of twin motion so if i just go ahead and play this back you can see how smooth it plays back and this is exactly what it looked like when we rendered this out of twin motion and afterwards we went ahead to just simply grade it so i'm just going to click here just to make sure that all of those effects are added and then you can see that there is actually a huge change between what we had previously and what we have now and the cool thing with resolve is resolve has a node based system so it simply means that you can actually plug things and you know pull things out and it's not like the typical modular systems where you have to you know stack things on top of things you can connect things how you want them to be and you can go ahead and just play with the lots and the grades at the same time and because it is a big and a robust system it accepts ofx and you can you know plug in all of those beautiful uh open effects that you can download from the internet or maybe you can purchase from a developer so if i just uh, simply go ahead and just show you an overview of what it looks like 
this is resolve 15 and you can see directly from here that with the timeline here and the viewer it looks like your very typical uh video editor you can see all of those uh stuff or uh, parameters you can play with that exist in the inspector if i go down to this place this is a uh, fusion which is more or less it does what your nuke or it does what after effect does next thing is the color grade which is what we we're going to talk about today so for the color grade you can see that within this space we have all of these nodes that we can simply connect so if i just simply turn this uh off so that you can see and i can zoom in and out so this uh directly connects this is the input and this is actually where the output goes so you can uh, create a new node you know grade the node how you want it to be uh, connect the node with something else grade it with something else as well and then you can just uh, mix match stuff together and get something very reasonable uh, happening in your scene so if i go ahead and just show you with the multi-screen so if i click here come over here and then uh, decide to show you versions uh, original and this other version uh, let me just uh, push this lower a little bit so that we can have a, a bigger view and see what it looks like you can see what it looks like in the previous version before we started grading and then you can see what it looks like afterwards you can see we just went ahead to add a, uh, a sort of a fake uh light glow happening in in the entire scene and we also decided to you know punch in the colors here and also brighten the sky just a little bit it's not like you cannot do those stuff in in other uh, uh, third party apps like i mentioned previously you can but i just find it a bit more uh comforting that you can do this stuff here and you know get them to work how you want them to work and you know control them how you want them to work so i'm going to go ahead and just show you with a small example of the things that you can do with this there's a lot of tutorials about davinci that exist online i may not go into talking about how you can make use of the software but there is a lot of them the idea for this uh, tutorial is to tell you that when you want to do things that has to do with grading of your video from twin motion you may need to move out of twin motion which is obvious to other third party softwares and i'm ending up to tell you about the software which i'm making use of so i'm just quickly going to stop this now come over to this part where we have uh our media pool and let me just simply find one of those renders and drag them in okay so we have something like this i can drag in this and you know just make a second video slot something like that and turn that off so we don't have that uh, video working so we have this video now and what i would like to do for this particular one is i may want to just simply change the color of the grass so for something like this you can just have this selected let's uh push this back a little bit you can have this selected and i'm going to go over to the color wheel so now we are here within the uh the grading section uh, the grading session i'm going to just simply make it the current one which we have and i have this and the cool thing which i said earlier is the notes that comes with davinci are pretty easy for you to learn and one of the, the, the easiest thing with uh, learning how to make use of these nodes is there is nothing that gets destroyed in the process. So there is no time when you say you've applied something and it destroyed your original footage. So for this one, I'm going to just simply right click. And then if I right click, I can come down here and add as much nodes as I want. So these are basically the nodes you get to add. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in another serial node, which is just this default one. So I'm going to go ahead and select this qualifier and I'll make sure that this is switched to a uh, version. I'm also going to select this. So, and, and then the next thing I'm going to do is try to select the green from here. You may probably not see it happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button here, the magic wand, which would just show me what is happening in my, uh, in the, uh, in, in the node that is selected so i'm just selecting that here and i'm going to click directly here and get all of this selected so just like i said earlier you can grab onto something like this you can grab onto something like this and you know go ahead and and play with it and change it how you want it to be i would like to connect this and just make this uh stay down here 
have this right on top and if i scroll back and forth you can see that the greens are selected if i want to add more green to this object i can click here and you know in, uh, include all of this green that exists around so what we're going to do now we have this selected is i'm just going to go ahead and start grading this so you can use the default grading wheels here or you can switch within these ones and see which one works for you but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just simply lift this a little bit uh let's make it a little bit cleaner something like that let me uh increase the gam let me decrease the gamma just a little bit okay and let's just offset it just a tiny bit something like that the next thing which i'm going to do now is i may also choose to use either of these curve systems that exist here and play with what i uh, I want to do obviously this is not a tutorial that talks about how you can make use of resolve i'm just going up and down just showing you things that you can do when you have your renders out of twin motion so once i have this done i can now decide to simply merge this node together using this layer stacking method so for you to uh, get this layer thing working let me just turn this off for you to get this layer thing working one has to be on the base and one has to be on top okay so one has to be on the base and one has to be on top and next thing i'm going to do is just simply link them up you may not know which of them is on the base or on the top if you uh, practically don't understand how these things work how this works is the one that is on the base the one that's on, on on the floor is actually the one on top and the one on top is actually the one on the floor you it's a little bit uh crazy for you to grab uh, to understand how this works but i'm just just trust me that's how it works because if i if i choose to start changing this you can see that this starts changing because it's on the base okay so the one on the base is actually on top and why the one on top is actually on the base so you can still go ahead and and denoise and you know play with this stuff and, and see how how they all uh, work for you depending on what you want to get at the end of the day for the project you're working on once i'm done with that i'm just going to let it be and now you can see that we have uh, this stuff and this one merging together most times you may tend to forget that you have this turned on so always remember that you have something like this turned on so but for this particular one what we were trying i mean what our goal is is maybe just to increase the brightness uh, the, uh, the, just to increase the gamma just a little bit so i can just turn this gamma a little bit up and you know just lift it just a tiny bit up like this and then if we just uh simply play back you can see we have way more uh green than we had previously i can just simply uh, come through and just turn this off and on and then you can see how you can play with this and see how it works and in most situations when you have this object selected you may think that the impact that this object is having might be a little bit too much for example like something that we have here you can see i mean for example we have something like this here you can see that the green might be a little bit too much all you have to do is just come over to this part and then you can turn down this just a little bit okay so you can just simply turn this key a little bit down you can you can also increase uh, so you can just turn down the the key input a little bit down every single thing that has to do with opacity is called it is here so it's called gain so we can turn this down just a little bit and then you can see how that works for the qualifier as well you can also increase or you know you can turn it down just a little bit as well depending on what you want to get out of your scene so with this once you play back you know you can get all, all of that working for you the final thing which i would like to show you is at the end of the day once you're done doing all of this stuff you want to do uh, and let's say you want to then go ahead and apply the final look on on the object or, or the render that you have we can do that by coming over to color go to the color node and simply add in an extra an extra serial node so this extra serial node that we're going to add is where we're going to do our final grading so the sec the final grading here can be done by just simply having this selected once you have that selected and you click on lot because davinci is uh 
more like also a real-time kind of application something that is quite similar to twin motion once you uh, have this and you know hover your mouse around it you can see how it plays back both in the preview and also in the viewport there or in the viewer so we're just going to go ahead you know you can go ahead and find what uh, best suits your scene and then you can simply 